How you feeling? I feel great, man. I'm ready to we, go. We don't got too much time, so we got to jump right into it. Your opponent, Franchise Cruz, you already know she's tough and rough. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How you feel about the matchup? Um, I feel like it's a great matchup. You know, um, Franchon brings it. She brings it every time. Um, she's got a, a different sort of style, rugged, brawler, um, but I know she's going to come to fight. So I'm hoping that, you know, Franchon could bring the best out of me for sure. Right. Is this one yeah. of the fights Is this one of the fights that you've been wanting or, or are you just looking at it like, I just need this fight to, to get to the next level? Well, I wanted Franchon when she was the undisputed world champion, but you know she took the belts and went and fought a one sixty pounder in Savannah Marshall, um, and refused to give me the opportunity. But um, I've forgiven her for that. I needed to do that in order to prepare and show up for this fight the way I see fit to be dominant, you know, and victorious. So. Um, I wanted to fight Franchon before. Um, I got to be honest, like now it's just like, yeah, I know what's up with you, you know. Um, now we fighting for the title. She doesn't have any belt, so that's yeah. my take on it. I like, I like this fight because of the, the, the styles, the way they contrast. Franchon, like we said, we know she rough. We know she coming. She bringing everything she got. I seen you mm -hmm. box years ago, like up in Jersey. I mean, we came up there for sparring. <laughs> And the skills I was impressed with. But you a puncher as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think you do a good job placing your shots. You know what I mean? Do you see yourself stopping her? I want the stoppage. I do. But when you get to this level, you have to understand the caliber of opponents that you're facing. And Franchon mm -hmm. has been on this level and faced many opposition that is well experienced. And at the super middleweight division. So um, I just want to be dominant. Um, I do want the stoppage, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. How yeah. How, is, how has camp been for you? Camp has been hard. It's been difficult. It's been stressful. Um, many dynamics in my, champ, my camp has changed. And uh, I think... I think, like, when fighters say, oh, I had a great camp, and yeah. they was sparring and they was showing off and wowing and doing everything, that's not a supplement of the fight. I think yeah. the fact that um, I've had a hard, tough camp and my sparring partners have brought it, and sometimes they get a day on me or two days on me, yeah. um, I think that goes to show, like, what my fight is going to be like because – Again, the camp should always be harder than the fight. I'm, I'm, sure. I'm actually, I'm actually glad you said that. I was, I was speaking to one of my fighters about that, and we was having a couple issues. And I'm like, yo, anybody that say they have a perfect camp is lying, because it's too much in life going on. It's too much in camp that's going on. You know what I mean? Yes, and, sir. And part of, and part of being a fighter is getting over the obstacles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we gonna have issues. You know what I mean? I, I'm glad you said something about that. So you've been yeah, getting sure. so you like you say you've been getting good sparring. You know what I mean? Do we know any of you, of your sparring partners? Probably not. I've actually gotten a lot of female work for this camp, which is rare. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't get a lot of female work for the camp, but um I've have gotten a lot, but when um I'm sparring guys, like one of the key sparring partners, he's like two thirty. So and um, right now you're looking at a well in shape. Like I'm on weight, <laughs> so yeah. um, uh, I've gotten really great sparring. But some of the girls I might mention, and I like to keep a secret. But, okay, okay. You know, they, yeah, they, I they know that yeah, they, you, you wouldn't know them. Any, any, I mean, not to look over franchise, but if you had a list of maybe say three or four other female fighters that you could share the ring with, who would it be? Franchon Cruz, December mm -hmm. 15th. Savannah mm -hmm. Martin, after that. And Clarissa Shields. Mm. That would be Those a great fight. That would be a great fight. But I got to make sure 
I take care of Franchon Cruz first because Franchon Cruz discerned. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she, she, you know, she want to make make that known. So, nah, yeah, but Franchon discerned. Um, I gotta take care of first, and then of course my dream was to be the undisputed super middleweight world champion, which Savannah Marshall has the other key components to that title. So um, I want to do that. And then, um, you know, God willing, I'm, I get past Franchon and go and fight Savannah, get past her. And then me and Clarissa Shields could do what we do, you know? Yeah. How does it, but how I, does it, I'm sorry. Nah, you good, go ahead. How does it feel being one of the faces of female boxing right now? I wouldn't say I'm one of the faces. I would say that I'm I'm close to being mm -hmm. in that category. But it feels amazing. I've dreamed of this day, this moment, my whole life. You know, I fought from the bottom out of the mud. You mm -hmm. know, so um, just to be getting the recognition and finally be mentioned amongst the greatest. It says some things, but I want to be mentioned as one of the greatest. So mm. it says nothing. Mm. You know, where I come from, like, look, secondary isn't the best thing. Mm. You can't be content with being second. So um, I'm just fighting to be number one. Yeah, I respect it. I respect it. Did you see yourself being on this level from the day you started boxing? Absolutely. Mm. Always dreamed, always envisioned. Um, I've been through so many trials and tribulations with boxing. When I thought I was going to get my moment, I was kicked back down. Um, yeah. I remember looking at the TV screen and seeing people fight for titles and crying like, yo, when is it going to be my moment? And I changed that narrative in the sense of just like getting closer to God and praying and hmm. just like, yo, look. You can't be jealous of what these people doing. You got to take notes. So, you know, that's what I did. And um, I'm fortunate and I'm appreciative of the fact that um, this is really my moment. Like, I know and I feel that and I feel the drift from God that this is my moment and nobody can stop that. Hmm. For sure. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't going to drag you all night. I'm going to ask you one more question. Where do you get your drive from? You know what I mean? What gives you the energy every day to, to be a fighter? Because people don't understand, like, just the the things you have to say no to, the things you have to turn your back to, you know what I mean, being a fighter every day. Um, I want to say that I get my drive from an uh, inspirational force inside of me. Mm. Um, my grandfather, who was also a fighter. Bobby Patterson. Mm -hmm. um, he sparred the likes of Roberto Duran and Marvin Hagler. My family, my mother, my wife. And um, more so, it's, it's just something destined inside me that wants to be the greatest. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I just continuously go. And in this camp, you know, I really... I really feel like a professional because sometimes I go home and be like, did I do enough? Damn. Am I countering enough? Am I doing what my coaches want me to do? Am I about to peak? So it's just like, you know, like I really just been pushing myself and it's, it's really just something that I want to do, mm -hmm. you know? So my drive comes from within. And that was, that was deep. Yeah, man. Very. Hey, listen, I appreciate you for giving hey, me Hey, man, ask me some more questions. It ain't even been 15 minutes. So it's, it's getting good. Like this, is, this, is, this is what I needed, though. I needed you to get yeah, like this. Yeah, go ahead. Do your thing, man. Like, I'm, look, I'm home, bro. You, you see the black Santa? Like, yeah, on, yeah, man. Already. <laughs> all right, yeah, so let's, home, all right, let's take it deeper then. You versus Layla Ali. What you think that would have looked like? Ah, Layla. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. crazy. Layla was tough, man. And I had to go back and rewatch her because mm -hmm. um I took for granted at first when seeing her, her style. But Layla like really brought it. You know, she threw a she threw a whole bunch of punches and um 
honestly, like I think a lot of a lot of us today take Layla for granted. That girl was a beast, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, she was different. I, you know, I think I listen. I saw you. See, I saw you box like you know live. Yeah. Now listen, I seen I seen maybe I'm gonna say maybe three females in the world skill level like where yours is to me. Sacred mm-hmm. Downing, who's probably from, I think she was from Newark, maybe. I ain't sure. Okay. Okay. And that was your, and that was, you ain't never heard of Sacred Downing? Nah, I'm gonna have to go search her up as soon as we finish. Yeah, she was like crazy. She used to come to Philly all the time. Great skills. Um, it's one more I can't think. But then when I saw you box, I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then you was boxing different size guys. You know what I mean? You was changing the speed. I'll on your never size. forget. I will never forget when you came to the gym, mm-hmm. you said to me, like, yo, you're different. And mm-hmm. you got the look. Mm-hmm. And you don't even know, like, I be watching your, 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 like, your spectrum and your thoughts on certain things. It's mm-hmm. this one guy, he always interview you. And I'd be like, damn, Greg Hackett, that boy, he different. Like, you really, you know. You be giving game, bro. You really know what you be talking about. So, like, when you said that to me, I'm like, okay. You know, mm-hmm. like, I take a lot of I take a lot of things for granted. And for, like, you know, light as salt. So, because um, I, I don't, I don't want no yes men around me. Right. Tell me what I don't want to hear when I don't need to hear it. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Because in this sport, you need that. You understand what I'm saying? So. Um, I knew that when you told me that and you wasn't like kissing my ass or nothing, you was just like, yo, you got the look, you got the skill. And I'm like, okay. okay. No, it's like real shit, though. <laughs> Wear it up. I'll never forget that. I remember that. And that was a while ago, too. That was probably like 2017. What? Yeah, that was years ago you came to East Hanover Gym and was, and was, and was spitting that game to me. Yeah, real shit. Yeah. So who who would be your top five in boxing right now that you like? Um, I have to say Canelo. Mm-hmm. But Tank. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, damn. Then I get stuck. Shakur. Mm-hmm. You know, even though Shakur from North he don't really like Shakur don't really show a lot of love to me because he got his favorite female fighter already, which is Clarissa Shields. But when I look at Shakur, Shakur is um Shakur is dope, you know. He's he's doing his thing. So you got Canelo, Bud, Javante, uh Shakur. I like Devin too. Mm-hmm. So that's a if Shakur's four then four A then Sh- Devin's four B. Let me see who else. Why you laughing, man? My wife, she always doing something. Or <laughs> A for B. Like, <laughs> um, I got to put my boy E green, mm. which wifey is jealous of him, too, because he makes me do high yoga and shit. But, yeah, Ian Green <laughs> is yoga. Like, Yeah, so Ian Green is a 160-pounder. We got the same last name, but skill-wise, that boy is different. Right. I watch him, man. He just not on the spectrum of all the other fighters that I name. So right. you put that where you want to put it. But yeah, those those my top five for real. I got a question too. I noticed that uh, what's her name, Amanda Sarant Serrano. I'm sorry, Amanda Serrano. Her last fight was uh three minute rounds, and mm-hmm. was it twelve rounds? Yeah, twelve three minute rounds. rounds. Yeah, Would they be doing 12. the same? Would they be doing the same with this fight? No, for real. Nah, this look, you gotta understand the WBC don't sanction 12, 12 rounds, three minutes. Oh, okay, okay. So you fighting for the WBC World Championship, you cannot fight that because they don't believe in that. They have medical history on how why it's not sufficient for women's boxing. And so, but I salute Amanda Serrano. She's actually one of my top pound for pound fighters, one yeah. of my idols, my icons, and who yeah. actually got me signed with Jake Paul. So, you know that that's that's a legend in my eyes. Yeah. Would you rather Would you rather fight the twelve three minute rounds? 
I mean, um, it's a choice. Um, I wouldn't mind fighting it. Yeah. I fight. I did 12, 12 rounds, three minutes today in sparring. So mm. it's I a difference, that. though. Yeah, it's yeah. It's definitely I mean, a difference. <laughs> yeah, in the fight, definitely. Definitely. What's your mindset going into the fight? I'm just calm, cool, and collective, you know. Um, there's so much bad blood in history that I really had to sit back and forgive Franchon Cruz for all she has done to me mm. so that I can go into this fight level-headed and fight my fight and not an angry fight, you know. So mm -hmm. um, Franchon Cruz, Discern, is a great fighter. She's great at what she does. And I'm just really looking to go in there and be victorious and dominant and go have a burger afterwards. For sure. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Now, you said I was dropping the game, but you've been dropping the game in this whole interview, though. You know, I try. I do a little bit. For sure. Then we had yeah. the 16-minute mark. What are we doing? <laughs> we going to 20 minutes. We going to 20 minutes. All right, minutes. let's get it. <laughs> hey, so give me... Give me a shocking moment. It don't have to be a negative moment, but like a shocking moment you had or an enlightening moment you had in boxing, you know what I mean, coming up or as of recently. Mm. <sighs> shocking moment. That's a tough one. I've had so many or mm -hmm. not that many. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say my performance at at Madison Square Garden. Okay. MSG, um, the small room. Okay. Uh, fighting on the undercard of Amanda Serrano and Alicia Bumgarner. Fighting okay. Aline Federos. Um, When I stopped her, it wasn't shocking, but that was like a what? Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm here. What's yeah. up? You know? Going back to the locker room, I wish I could have took a shower and got into my smooth shit to watch the other fights. But, you know, I had to walk around sweaty. Yeah. But, yeah, performing in front of my hometown crowd and being comfortable and, you know, coming back to the gym and my teammates and my stable mates, like, Lo, you look, you made her look like a fucking amateur. Yeah. I was just like, wow. Like, you know, yeah, I really got that skill. Like, what? Because I don't believe my own hype. Mm. And that mistakes it as, oh, Shadeja, she's not confident. Nah, because if you start believing what the people say about you, you stop learning, you stop training, you stop going mm. hard. And that's what I battle with. Real shit. I battle with that every day. Like, these people saying you're supposed to win, you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that. So, in retrospect, I'm not doing, I'm not crossing my T's and dotting my I's. Mm. So, I struggle with that. Like, don't get overzealous. You feel me? Yeah, I got mm -hmm. you. Because yeah. sometimes I feel like what you're saying that what we're seeing in this game today. A lot of people start to believe they're not human. They, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. They start to go in like this shit is easy every time, and it's really not. Yeah. No, it's not. No, I feel that. Savannah Marshall, why that fight? Savannah Marshall got all the pieces to the puzzle. Mm. She's truly a one sixty pounder. I don't give a fuck what she say if she feels she's comfortable at one sixty eight. Franchon decided to go and fight her because she had just lost to Clarissa Shields and she has that UK power. Franchon could have fought her mandatory, but she didn't. She made up all these lies about how my promoter, they, there wasn't a fight for her. So she went to fight Savannah Marshall, who was publicly more famous, mm -hmm. and then basically handed the belts to her. So she has something that she doesn't even really... Like, I've been fighting to fight for the super middleweight undisputed world title my whole life. So right. she got that by chance because mm -hmm. Franchine wanted a payday. You mm -hmm. feel me? So she went over there to the UK, fought, got the payday, boom. 
sold the belts. Mm. Mm. That's what it is. That's facts. But, you know, like I said, it took for me to realize her situation and and what type of situation she was in. And I understand that. You get the right to choose what it is that you do and what it is that you want. I got so, you. hey. One more. You know? Should you and Clarissa be a pay-per-view match? Absolutely. <laughs> I feel Absolutely. the same way. <laughs> um, Clarissa Shields is a pound for pound, one of the best female fighters to ever grease the, the earth. And she shows that she's done phenomenal things. We have an old friendship and we have history. And if if and when I handle my business, why wouldn't it? It should be pay-per-view, Madison Square Garden, mm. the big room. Mm -hmm. We'll sell that bitch out. I believe so. I'm coming up there. <laughs> we'll sell it out. For that one, I'm coming out for sure. And guess what? I'm going to say this on a goodbye. You ready for this, Greg Hackett? Coach Talk Greg? I'm um, KOing her ass too. You hear me? <laughs> appreciate you. She's going to. <laughs> Straight like that. For sure. Yeah, like that. You want to let the people know where they can reach you? Man, uh, first of all, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you for having me on. I know mm -hmm. it's Saturday. I just had some chicken and egg salad. Mm -hmm. Spar, ran, blah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. um, That's my boy fight. But I'm about to go to bed too. It's early. What time is it? Six. Six. She always want to be involved, y'all. This is my wife. <laughs> Stop it. Um, <laughs> you can follow me at Shadeja underscore Green on Instagram. Shadeja Green on Facebook. Shadeja Green on Twitter. I'm friendly. Hit me up. You know, and uh, support December fifteenth. Shadeja Green. Look how those tables turn. Yeah, Shadeja Green versus uh. yeah, the, yeah, Shadeja <laughs> Green versus Fran Sean Cruz Discern. Uh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, listen, Greg, keep doing what you're doing, Coach. You're Push you're course. you're an amazing personality for the sport, and most of all, this is what really like highlights. You know your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watch you and I listen to you. I listen to your take on upcoming fights, your perspective on upcoming fights, and you're not biased. You know your shit. So this is much love and appreciation from the sweet Terminator herself. Mm -hmm. I got none but love for you. Thank you for having me on your platform. And um, prayers up to, to everybody. And and, and 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 let's get his... let. Pe more more people need to listen to you and follow you, man. For it's real. gonna it's happen. Gonna, you a gem in the game. You hear me? You are a gem Appreciate in the game. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, man. Much love. Thanks for I'm tapping in. All, All right. right. Get with you. All right.